Empty gym, feeling good. Let's get it. Oh, I like it when you break down low. Low, 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 low. Oh, I like it when you break down low. What's going on my subscribers? This is A Fitness coming to you with a live commentary on the 18th of December. Only I think it's six more sleeps till Christmas. Boosh. So you can see here I started off the workout doing five sets of four with 117 and a half kilos. So this is a set and rep PR for me. And on this set that you're watching right now, you can see this is where my form has improved slightly. Because in the previous set, you could see my knees were caving in. And that's still being a little bit of a problem for me. And what I'm really trying to focus on in this set is keeping my feet flat on the floor. Because you can see my feet sometimes uh, yeah, pronate into the centre, which means my knees cave into the centre of my body as well. So on that set, I was really making sure that my feet were flat on the plank of wood. Yes, unfortunately, I have to squat on a plank of wood because where you put the barbell, where you rest it after doing a set, it's at an awkward height if I don't use the plank of wood. So it can be a bit awkward sometimes, but it does the job and I can get the job done with it. And if you're wondering how I tighten up my fitness leather belt from York Fitness, you can see where you can put the safety racks. There are two poles on the power rack. And then what I do is I get one end of the York Fitness leather belt I hold it against one of them and then twist my body away from it so I can tighten it up as much as I can. Okay, I need to explain myself here. You can see I'm trying sumo deadlifts for the first time, but I fancy giving them a try because I've never done them in my life. And I was watching a fitness YouTuber the other day and he was talking about how he's seen gains by changing up things for every workout. So I thought instead of doing conventional, why don't I try sumo? And I think I still need to perfect that form because the barbell was just waving all over the place and I was losing my balance with it. So I did just switch back to conventional deadlifts. But usually when I do a new exercise, I do feel doms the day after, but I just didn't want to risk it with deadlifts because it's such a dangerous movement if you do it wrong. So here I did five sets of 10, no, five sets of eight, sorry, with 120 kg. Just making sure I get my form on point. You can see there though that my shoulders are rounding forward a bit, that's something I need to work on. And here, I think my V-taper has really come on. You're looking good, man. I'm looking good, man. No, you're looking good, man. I'm looking good, man. Look at that V-taper you got going on. Well, you know, I'll try my best. I'm very sorry about that rude interruption by those two lunatics. Not really sure who they are, to be honest. So you can see here that my V-taper I think has really come on and that my rear delts are giving me that V-taper look. And here I did three sets of lat pull down and what I really try and focus on is squeezing at the bottom as hard as I can to feel the muscle working. Then what I like to do after one pulling movement doing three sets of it, I move on to biceps because I really feel that I need to bring up my arms during this bulk. 
What I'd love to have at the end of this bulk is a chest that is bulging out my shirt and arms that are bulging out the sleeves as well because as I said in previous videos that's where the ladies like to look but obviously I want to do it for my own purposes as well because I do hope to compete one day but I'm thinking probably in 2017 in the summer. I was thinking of doing the body power in Birmingham but I've talked to other people to get advice on Facebook and they've talked about maybe just trying a local show to start with so I think I'll do that instead before I maybe progress to a bigger show if I could. You can see here I'm basically doing another version of a lap pull down but what I'm doing is using a cable on each arm that makes sure that you don't get any imbalances that both arms are as strong, both sorry lats are as strong as each other and I do feel a great contraction using it. I'm particularly proud of this angle shot because I managed to put the camera on top of the weight of the hamstring curl. Let me know if you like this camera angle too and I'll try and get some more funky camera angles in future workout videos. And after this hamstring curl I did three sets on oh, before that you saw three sets of hammer curls with that 25 kilo plate and the lat pull down exercise. Then after the hamstring curl I moved on to calf raises really focusing on contracting the gastrocnemius at the top of the movement and that finished off the workout and I thought I had to do this subtly because there are a lot of people in the gym but I just thought I'll show you the little Christmas decorations in the gym just getting everyone in the festive mood I just thought it was really cute you know we're very happy and proud they knew their baby was really the son of God they knew he was very special and that he oh sorry if you're watching me, that probably means you've just finished watching my workout video. So I hope you enjoyed that little squat, deadlift and pull workout. Let me know in the comment section below if you like the workout commentary and also the angles of the camera I gave you. I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to my channel and kept supporting my YouTube channel to help it to grow. Be looking out for my quest for a bigger chest week 8 and also a nice mobility session that I'm going to put up next week. Enjoy the lead up till Christmas guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video and keep making gains.